Here's Brody Brazil. Up to this point, I think we can all understand what a normal baseball vote on relocation for the A's to Las Vegas might look like. I say normal in a sense that it'll be announced a couple days beforehand that in mid-November, the owners will be voting on this. Then that day comes. And at some point during the day, we find out yes or no. And what is the vote count? It might be that simple. Or maybe the vote is not announced and we don't know when it's being taken, but we find out after the fact that, hey, earlier today, baseball voted on this and here's the final result. It could be as simple and not complicated as that. But I think we all understand through this process, <laughs> the crazy twists and turns, the unexpecteds, the unbelievables almost at some point. And we're also here at this junction of still not understanding every last detail that you think would have to be out there for an ultimate decision to be made. And that's why I've come up with three crazy scenarios that, yeah, I mean, they are crazy. They are off the wall. But at this point, you can kind of almost expect the unexpected in this process, like the way things have gone and brought us to this current point. So they are crazy. They are not entirely impossible. I do want to lay that out there. Crazy scenario number one. A vote just isn't ready by December. Now, the full background is that the A's do need a binding stadium agreement by January if they want to stay on the competitive balance tax benefit program, the revenue sharing program. But I'm saying that Baseball really has to look at this as a calendar year thing, because if this is not voted on by the end of the calendar year, and quite honestly, ahead of the true holiday season, chances are it just might not happen. But this would be a crazy scenario, that after all this planning and all this hype and discussion and the public money in Las Vegas, that a vote just isn't ready. And I don't know if it's the A's that are not ready for this, or baseball owners say, hey, we're not ready to vote on this because... There's not enough answers on the fundamentals, like the blueprints or the renderings or the place to play for 2025, 2026, 2027. How about a decision on the relocation fee, yes or no? There's a lot of things to be squared away that we just do not know about yet. And the owners also, I would think, right, because they could have approved this vote long ago if they didn't need any details. What stopped them from voting on this back in August? They basically have known the same things back then that they know here now almost in November. So maybe they do need the proper evidence and materials and documentation and answers to vote. Maybe they do. And maybe they're looking at this saying, this is kind of incomplete. And so I'm not saying that a vote doesn't inevitably happen. I'm also saying that the owners don't vote yes on it. Maybe that happens. But maybe they just don't take this vote on the A's timeline and when they want and need it to take place. Remember, the deadline here of, of why they're trying to push this before the calendar year is so that the A's can stay on that luxury tax benefit program. So that's one hypothetical that the vote simply isn't ready by baseball owner's standards. Here's another one. What if there's an approval of relocation, but it comes with a $300 million fee? And that's the possibility. That's the one that's been discussed and speculated. Maybe that's close. Maybe that's way off. Again, baseball hasn't done this in a while. Uh, they did move the, um, the Expos to become the Washington Nationals, but baseball had to buy the Expos and move the team. So, of course, there was no relocation fee back then. But in all the other sports and with all the other teams moving over the years, uh, basketball, hockey, football, there's always been a relocation fee. Why would there not be one here? So maybe that's what owners look at and say, we actually want that $10, $12 million a piece. And if there is a relocation fee for the A's of $300 million, I mean, it really counters the $380 million of public funding. It almost kind of washes this out. And they worked hard. This was a big deal to get this public funding. 
It was said during the legislative session that if they didn't have this, the project was going to cease and they were going to turn their focus somewhere else. I don't know if that's still the case. Maybe there would be an injection of, of money from an external source. But the point is, is that $300 million, the way this project is going, is, is not a marginal amount. It's a very critical amount. And so again, I'm not saying that, you know, the move being approved, but only with a relocation fee, I'm not saying that this stops the project entirely. It could delay it. It could stall it. It could impair the ability for this to move forward. Maybe it could stop it in its tracks. But the bottom line is this could be an interesting new element brought to the table when it actually comes time to vote. This would be something that we wouldn't really hear much about until it actually comes time to where the rubber meets the road. Okay, crazy scenario number three. It gets voted down before January, before 2024, but then eventually gets voted on again and passed in early 2024. February, March, April, whenever. And here's the reasoning why. What if baseball owners want to take the A's basically off that revenue sharing that everybody talks about? It's baked into the CBA, the collective bargaining agreement with the league and the players. There's really no way to take it away from the A's, but there is one. If you don't set them up with a binding agreement, which they need this vote to get a binding agreement, if you don't set them up on that, by January of 2024, they're off it. But if you're okay with them moving and not carrying over that, that revenue sharing benefit, you just basically vote no. Like before I said, well, the owners could say they don't have all the sufficient evidence. They don't have every detail they need to take a vote. This would be a different scenario. What if every detail is presented to them? Here's how we're going to pay for it. Here's where we're going to play in the interim. Here's what the ballpark looks like. Here's every last question answered for you. And baseball says, okay, cool. We're still going to vote this down now. We will reconsider it if you make these changes. It could be small sticking points. They could be big changes. Maybe they could ask the A's to alter the current site plans or just start fresh somewhere else. Maybe the owners say, hey, we like the idea of baseball, Major League Baseball in Las Vegas, but not at this site and not surrounded by casino property. We want to have our own space down there. We want to open up a baseball flagship retail shop and maybe on nine acres, there's not enough room to do all this. So it could be voted down before January for two reasons. Number one, to get the A's off the competitive balance tax benefits. Or number two, to get the A's to do a different set of plans in Las Vegas. Now, to be very clear about that, uh, a lot of work went into the Tropicana site and where things stand. And this would delay and set things back by, by many years. And, and this does seem like this is the craziest one of them all. To say no to something in December or, or November or December and then to say yes to it three, four, five months later, like that does seem crazy, but you can understand the reasonings behind this and why this is far-fetched, but definitely a distinct possibility. So I just wanted to make this video to spell out that, yeah, it could all happen in some conventional process. It could be over just like that. But at the same respect, I wanted to document these things. Maybe we'll revisit this video down the road and say, oh my gosh, <laughs> you called that crazy way back when, but you called it. And some element of that just happened. You made it here to the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can definitely see you back here next time.